Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Clippers hosting the Suns, and the Suns are four and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 221 and a half. The Suns are minus 192 on the money line, and the Clippers are plus 160. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. The Clippers are playing tonight, or they did play tonight. They're playing in the fourth, they're up by one against the Blazers, and the Suns had the night off. Head-to-head, the Suns are 6-4. and four. The Suns are on a two-game winning streak. The road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite is 5-5 five and five against the spread. The over is hitting their last two. The over is 7-3, and three, and the over 221.5 is 7-3. and three. They played each other once this year, and the Suns won that game 116-113 in overtime in L.A. And it seems like with the NBA... I guess the same could be said for a lot of sports where a team plays up to their opponent and down to their opponent and then when they have a better opponent coming in the next night, they completely like seems like they don't want to play against the bad team and they'd rather just wait and play against the good team and not bother wasting their energy. The Suns are on a two game winning streak, three and one in their last four. Two twenty nine, two thirty nine, two sixteen, two fourteen. Beating the Clippers by 3, losing by 7 to the Lakers, beating the Mavericks by 12, beating the Lakers by 4. For the Clippers, not including the game that they're playing right now, uh, they're 2-1. Uh, 229, 213, 216, losing by 3 to the Suns, beating the Nuggets by 5, beating the Warriors by 8, and as of right now, they are... Up four points on the Blazers with five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. They're up 98-94. I'm going to take the Suns with the money line. Uh, I'm going to take the Suns laying the points in this one, and I'm going to go over. I think the back-to-back for the Clippers isn't going to be a good thing, and the Suns having the day off will make a difference. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.